Hey there, what I have here is a TSR-80 um, power supply for a Model 1 um, computer back in 1978, I think is when this one was purchased. And what I did is I uh, opened one up. This one here, though, is <clears throat> still sealed. But I did want to show what, what it says on the back here, see if I can uh, zoom in here a little bit. What I wanted to show here is on pins 2 and 4 it says 19.8 volts DC and then it's 0.35 amps and then on pins 1 and 3 it's 17 volts AC and 1 amp. Now these are sealed units so you have to cut with a, I cut around with a Dremel tool all the way around so now I'm going to show you one that I've cut. Okay here's the one that I cut open with the Dremel I uh, took the tool and I just cut all the way around and I had to be careful where the wires are and uh, this is what it looks like and there's not much uh, going on here um, it's just the transformer um, you can see a fuse right in here you can see a uh, one diode uh, it's actually a 1 and 4001 1 amp diode and then there's another diode. I don't know if you can kind of, yeah, you can see it in there. So there's just two diodes, a fuse, and uh, the transformer. And then here you can kind of see on the primary side, here's the power coming in. This is the AC here, this wire. It goes up to here, goes through this fuse. Then it comes out here, and then here's the wire going to the bottom side where the primary is. Then you can kind of see the wire here going to the bottom side uh, where the primary is. So for the secondary, what we have appears to be here anyway, is I notice if one of the primary windings goes to this pin, two are tied to this pin, one is tied to this pin, and then there's two more that pop out right in here that go to these, the white wire and the uh, green wire. Now this appears to be the uh, AC part of the circuit, which is the 17 volts AC. And then these two here are the uh, DC part of the circuit, the 19.8 uh, volts. And the diode is going from this point to this point. And then it's from this point here to this point. So that's going across these two here. So. What I think is going on here, I'm going to bring in a schem schematic I drew up. Let's see if I can put this in there. Put that up a little higher. Okay. You know, we talk about the primary here, 120, but I think on the secondary, what it is is the, the center point here which is this guy here, I think is the center tap, is where they're connecting the two wires. You know, here's this, these three contacts here, but I think, believe the center one is actually the one where the two, the center taps are, and they're being connected together. And one side goes, which is the AC part of the circuit up here, and I believe that's the white and the green wire here, because the there's just two wires coming up, and that is the AC, I mean, I've checked that. And then the, uh, the DC side, all it looks like they're doing is putting two uh, just diodes to rectify it, and then center tapping it, so I mean, and, and that's it, that's how simple it is. And then this is just the pin out looking into the, uh, this connector here, um, and this orientation here for the pin out. So, that's uh, what I have here, and I just wanted to show what this is before I uh, epoxy this back up. Um, initially, I thought I had a problem, but it wasn't a problem with the power supply. It was another issue within the, uh, the, unit, the Model 1 itself. So. What I have here is a setup. I wanted to show um, what the signals look like on this power supply from a Model 1 TRS-80. Um, is a again this was around 1978 that this was purchased and right now um, there's a black and a red lead right here 
This is on these two pins right here, which is the white wire and the green wire, um, is on the AC output, which you should see somewhere around uh, 17 volts AC RMS. And this is just connected to the fuse on the primary side, and then this is where I had uh, when I was cu um, cutting out the uh, the edge here to um, with, with the Dremel tool. I kind of put a little hole pinhole so I have access to the one side of the uh, AC uh, wire there. And then the other things I wanted to share is I have two differential probes which is really handy for measuring AC. And again this is AC open so I'm going to be wearing safety glasses and I got a switch there that I just turn on and off and I keep it to my distance so I don't get too close to this. And I guess at this moment I'm ready to turn it on. Alright, on the monitor, the top signal is the primary, which is your AC outlet, which is 125 volts. And the bottom is the AC, which is the target was 17 volts AC. And I'm reading about 20.5, 20.6 RMS for the output. And again, my equipment's not calibrated, but it's pretty close and I don't know what the tolerance is of the power supply too. And then on top there I'm reading about 120 volt, 4 volts RMS which is the uh, AC outlet, the primary side. Alright, now what I'm going to do is switch my leads on this guy here and I'll come back to the DC side. Now I have the DC side connected and I'm just going to show a little bit here. Um, the the black wire here is this is where the center tap of the two um, secondary uh, coils of the transformer are connected. Anyway, this is coming to this connection here, which is the black wire, which is the negative side of the DC. And then this red wire over here is I have it hooked on the diode on the bottom, which is this point here. And then this is coming to the red wire. And I'm going to zoom out here. So you can see the, uh, then turn the power on. And again, this is AC, so I gotta be careful. And wear your safety glasses. All right, I'm gonna turn it on. And there you go. On the screen there. I have a rectified wave. Uh, again, the top is the uh, primary at 125, and the bottom there is the uh, DC, which is the DC equivalent, and I'm doing an RMS measurement since it's sine wave coming out of it, about 20. And again, they were looking for like 19.8, so it's pretty close to the target. So, that's what the DC on this looks like. Now I'm going to show you something I haven't quite figured out yet. Um, again, it's an unloaded power supply. But if I change the polarity of this uh, AC connection, and there is, it's not, uh, we want to say, pol polarized, I guess, where uh, it can go in either uh, slot. So I'm going to shut this off. Well, actually, I'm going to zoom out first to show you what it looks like on the screen. All right, now I'm going to shut this off. Signals are gone. Then I'm going to just flip this because it's interchangeable. And what I notice is a different kind of a signal now. It's distorted if you flip it the other way. So let's take a look at that on the screen. Now the output is a little bit higher, 22 point volts, and uh, you know it's just a different looking waveform, and I haven't quite figured out why that is, um, but apparently depending on which way you flip or plug in that uh, unpolarized plug, you get two different results uh, when it's not connected to anything. So. Just wanted to share that. It was just something kind of different. Didn't quite expect them. 
Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up to a uh, power meter just to see what the dark current or the idle current when there's nothing hooked up to it. Uh, I'm just using one of these uh, meters right here. So I'm going to disconnect everything, shut it down, and then I'm going to hook this up and I'll be back. Alright, I now have the power meter, or the watt meter. And I'm going to, if I can do this, without causing too much trouble to get this out of the display. I don't know if you can see that or not. Okay, you can see the signal coming on. And you can kind of see 123.4 volts there. And then if I hit down twice, it's taking about 3.3. Uh, my lighting's not so good. There we go, 3.3 uh, watts. Um, and again, if I shut this off, you can see the signals back there look good. And if I rotate this guy here, it's pretty stiff. And turn it on. So I just rotated the AC plug. Now I got my distorted uh, waveform over there. So just uh, kind of curious of that. And it's a little bit higher output with the distorted waveform. Okay, signing off on this. And the one more thing I wanted to share is this is the, uh, the model one, and this one was upgraded to level two with the 16K. And the power for this is this little guy back here. Now. One of the main components, or some of the first components that we'll see on the power supply side are these capacitors here. You can see 10,000 microfarads, 16 volts, and this one is 2,200 microfarads, 25 volts. And it's, I'm finding I replaced these. Um, after 40 years, when I first powered up, when it um, was sitting around, I would get really weird performance and I'm suspecting that these components may have been aged or drying out so it's not necessarily a bad idea to replace those. And the same thing, you have an expansion interface. This guy here. Um, it also has, let's see, power supply I think is in right here in this section here. You have to take these three screws out. Just make sure, that, yeah, and then it's, it goes in back here. But anyway, it has the same components, those two capacitors. So that's really what I was trying to show. There's really no filtering. Those capacitors are the filtering for your TRS-80. So I would, after seeing this and just switching this from one side to the other, on, and I haven't quite figured out that, and maybe somebody else can chime in why there's a difference there. Um, I don't know if it's something in the transformer or just because it's open. I don't have it loaded. It's reacting that way. But anyway, I just wanted to share this and thanks for watching.